What's up ladies and gentlemen, Marjack79 here, and today we are taking a look at the Horizon Zero Dawn Alo made by Modern Icons, uh, statues by Think Geek, owned by GameStop. So, as you can see, um, I had picked this uh, statue up from GameStop the other day. Um, it was retailing for $49.99 there, but keep in mind if you're trying to purchase this uh, statue yourself, um, I think Geek uh, has it on its website for $39.99 right now. So uh, I uh, price matched um, that at my local GameStop, and the manager there uh, went on ahead and updated the uh, price to $39.99 for me. So definitely if you're looking to uh, purchase this statue, you definitely don't overpay for it because you can get it for $39.99 so let's look at the box so the front of it is not really anything special uh, we have a number two think geek exclusive um, on the side here just some little uh, promotional we have the game logo a picture of the statue in black and white uh, made by gorilla games for those who didn't know spin it around to the end back this is a moderate icon statues by think geek ages 14 and up uh you can pause right now if you want to read all of that have a barcode here uh chronicle collectibles and more uh, game uh, logo art and art of the statue turn it around at the top here we have think geek a picture of a snow in a tree and we go to the bottom and there's nothing there all right so why don't you say we go ahead and let's crack this puppy open be right back so guys when i was filming somehow i forgot to uh or failed to talk about the inside box that was inside of the outer sleeve that was inside of the main box so here it is now so we have horizon zero dot aloy modern icon statues by think geek you have some awesome artwork of alo here chronicle collectibles uh, looks like she is fighting one of the uh, uh, sharp tooths here and more of the sharp tooth chronicle collectibles gorilla sign logo and the back it's the same thing all right all right ladies and gents and we're back so as you can see getting a close-up on the statue now uh, I am very happy with my purchase. I'm going to go ahead and say that right now. Beautiful piece. Absolutely beautiful piece, man. $40? Can't beat it, man. Alright, let's, let's get a little bit of a closer look here. Let's get a look at that face. Face sculpt is spot on. That looks just like Aloy. Just like her. So you can see from her face to the curls of her hair to the uh, uh, her little bracelets with her bow and arrow here with the warrior bow to the arrow detail on the arrow you can even see the little rust mark the rust marks there on the arrow uh, with the finger pointing outward stretched ready to aim and fire to the bottom of the bow all the little intricate details are there it's just like how she looked in the uh, game. So, the stitchings to her fur clothes, to the pants. I don't know, she always kind of gives me that um, Indian feel, you know. But then again, I mean, if you play the game, you know that uh, civilization has reverted back to uh, uh, prehistoric times, except with uh, robots instead of dinosaurs. So, it makes sense. So let's spin her uh, oh, well, actually, let's get a look at the base here. So we have a uh, ground uh, covering here. Looks like a little bit of grass standing on top of a stone here. And then the base itself. We'll take a look at the bottom of the base in a second. Let's spin her around here first. Get a look at her from the back, shall we? Now, spin it around, get a good look at that hair. Got the quiver here with the arrows out in, in there. Get some more details of the outfit here. And got her uh, rope here that she uses to uh, grapple and swing from tree to tree. Got her pouch, with probably with all of her bombs and whatnot in there. Spin her over to, spin her over to the side here. 
more and more details on the leg to the boots. And get a look at the inside of this stump here. Looks like, uh, I don't know what that is, huh? Looks like just some, maybe a broken machine or something with some more grass. Hmm. Looks like some little markings on the uh, stone too, or the uh, or the uh, tree stump. And then I don't know what this thing is here either. I'm sure, that's important somehow, but you know, maybe or maybe it's just something random that they just placed there. So one more look. I got her looking her pointing straight straight and forward from the uh, arrow. Man, that looks good on camera. Look at that, guys. Looks great on camera. Alright, so let's uh, spin her to the bottom here and get a look at the bottom of the uh, base. So, we have Horizon Zero Dot ALA Statue Limited Edition, PlayStation 4. And some information made by ThinkGeek, uh, Made in China, Chronicle Collectibles. $40, guys. You know, you know I have been wondering why... Um, they had not released an Aloy action figure yet because I mean obviously it was uh, PlayStation 4's biggest game this year and in my opinion uh, PlayStation 4's game of the year so I was definitely wondering why we hadn't seen a uh, figure for it but you know I'm definitely patient and this will definitely hold its spot in my gaming museum until we get that eventual action figure for sure surely it's in the it's in the works I mean I haven't heard anything yet but I know for a fact that they're already making a Kratos for the new God of War into action figure form and that hasn't even came out yet so I don't so there's no reason reason why with the success of Horizon Zero Dawn why they wouldn't give us an Aloy action figure too and a top notch one too not not a little cheapo you know just ten dollar figure I'm, I'm, I'm talking about like all out like SH figure art standards or you know NECA or Figma or or one of those companies should definitely pick up the license because you would definitely for sure have a customer right here all right guys uh I guess it's time to go ahead and wrap up the video even though I really don't want to because I'm still admiring this statue so um, if you want to see more information on Horizon Zero Dawn, I do have a review of the Forbidden Wilds up on the channel. I will link that in the description below. Um, if you like the video, do me a favor, go ahead and look towards the left side of the screen and hit that like button for me. And if you want to see more uh, video game action figures, statues, all the like, uh, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button for me. Uh, I usually post about three to four times a week. Um, you can follow me at www.youtube.com slash martintech79 and www.facebook.com slash martintech79. I would really appreciate it. We are a growing channel. We're going strong. And uh, I am looking forward to the future. All right. Until then, guys, I hope to see you on the next one. And I will catch you later. Bye, guys.